One of the biggest hurdles I'm finding at the moment is because I had a problem with the word God, yeah. I don't now, but a lot of people around the world have a problem with the word God and just bringing it up inside a family that hasn't been brought up to go to church all the time and everything is a big issue in itself. So for me to go home and say to my kids, well, okay, now I'm going to um, talk about God a lot, they're going to run. You know, so how do you get around that? Well, again, there's an emotion in them that is a reflection of your own emotion. So um, firstly, if you're worried about speaking about God, there's still an emotion within you that's unhealed about God. Does that make sense? Otherwise, you wouldn't be worried about it. Secondly, there is a law of compensation issue involved there. You're now going through the pain of actually, that you've, you've created in your own environment actually, that when you were against the idea of God, now you're for the idea or concept of God, but, but you're taught, you have taught your children to be against the idea of God. Does that make sense? And there's a law of compensation effect on that. There's a law of compensation effect on that. So allow yourself to feel those emotions. Allow yourself to feel the fact that, yes, you know, I have created this. And allow yourself to feel and release that emotion. When you do, your children will have a lot less a resistance to the concept of God. As soon as you release the emotion of the law of compensation, which is that I taught them to di to distance themselves from God. Well, that also helps the social environment around them because you know socially out there there's a lot of people who don't like it because of the religious aspect. Uh, certainly. So the question is, would that help it from a social aspect? Because there's many people who don't like the religious aspect of God. Certainly. If they have a concept of God now in their heart that's non-religious and it's just father-to-child concept of God, which is all that we're teaching here, right? Father-to-child, mother-to-child concept of God. If they have that concept within them, they won't attract religious zealots or, or, or people that are anti those kind of teachings if they have that concept. It's only when they have concepts that are disharmonious with that concept, disharmonious with love, in other words, that they'll start attracting people. If they have an emotion within themselves that they can't speak of God because they're afraid of people, then certainly they're going to attract people attacking them because they're afraid of speaking about God. Does that make sense? And, and until they deal with that emotion. But you can help them through all of that. It's just an illustration of the law of attraction. So allow, again, yourself to firstly display that attitude in the family and feel it inside of yourself and feel the moments when you're not actually allowing yourself, do you know what I mean? Allowing yourself to connect to God because you're worried about what your children are going to think. When you do that, their whole attitude will change because it's all your law of attraction. Yeah.